Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Brand new release day. Pick your team two. Prison basketball coming at you. There's everyone right here on Wednesday the 4th. Thanks for hanging with us, folks. We are getting new toner, don't worry. If you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in a team random, which is going to be in a separate video. And we got Last Spot Mojo in this. Brian got Last Spot Mojo in the team random. That's what this is not going to do, folks. <laughs> got to find out who's got Last Spot Mojo. Or what's the point of even doing this? What's the point of breaking, folks, if there's no Last Spot Mojo? Come on. It's Sanford. Card Blasters. Got the magic. Come on, Joe. There you go, Sam. I can't believe I almost shorted you that Last Spot Mojo. Thanks, Lith. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, I think another couple good nights of sleep. I should be back. Should be 100%. Remember, we marked all these Z. <laughs> Those are my twos. Right there for pick your team two, so you know they all come from the same case. All right, let me make myself a little room here. All right, well, two autographs and a bunch of prisms per box on average. Just looking for that guy. Now, before we started this break, that we had a little chatter going. I don't want. I wanted to get this on wax, so that's why I kind of did not answer Brian and Vinny. Well, Brian opened it up by saying, and Vinny kind of followed up too. Who's uh, who are the? Actually, I'm gonna pause the video really quick. I'll be right back. I gotta get some more lining for my trash can. I didn't even do that part. Brb. When I come back, it'll be ready. It's all set now. Now, top NBA player, top NBA rookies is what Vinny was wondering. And, and, and on a related question, Brian O was thinking, uh, hey, who's going to win? Who are our early favorites for NBA Rookie of the Year? So what does everyone think? Whoever's the 30 people watching right now, what do you think? If you're basketball fans, I know, I know Hachimura, Rui Hachimura had a strong start to the season. So did Tyler Hero. No one's really been lighting it up per se. Yeah, I think Ja Morant was playing well before some injuries have kind of hobbled his start to the season. EA saying Ja Morant. I don't know, you never know, because all these rookies are going to hit, like, the rookie wall. You know, and so... So they're going to hit this rookie wall, I think, in the next month or so. And then we'll see who can kind of survive past that sort of wall. All right, here's the first box right here. We'll breeze through these. Scotty Pippen Silver. I'm going to breeze by these red waves. They will ship, but they are just not numbered. That's all. Vet base doesn't ship, but obviously um, rookie cards will ship in case I blow by a top rookie. There's Will Barton to 149. That obviously ships. Miles Turner obviously will ship. Any Silvers will ship. Now, there's Lou, Will Lou Williams is a vet, but it's a parallel it's silver, so that will ship. I think Zion still has a shot at Rookie of the Year. Because... You know, right when, he, hopefully, if he's 100% healthy, right, if this guy's 100% healthy, Pelicans, who has got Jeremy Tillman with the Pels, then he'll be kind of cruising while other players are hitting that rookie wall, right? So that might get him some, uh, some, some big attention there. We're done after this, I'm afraid, Sox Breaker. Ah, oh, points. Boo. Winner take all on the points. That, that'll replace an autograph. Kobe White Silver will ship. He's been playing all right, too.
<laughs> yeah, Joe P wants to know what's next. Whatever you, whatever you fill by yourself, Joe P. I'm not doing Bowman Draft at this time of night. This is DeMarcus Cousins. I'm back tomorrow, folks. We break, break seven nights a week. Is that Silver Kobe, 50 bucks? Really? I knew he was playing. No, I got you, EA. I hear you. I got you. Boom. I mean, I set it aside for it so it'll get sleeved and top-loaded. I just didn't think... There you go. I thought it was going to go for like 10 bucks. Rudy Gobert. And we were just talking about Ja Morant. Sensational signatures for the Memphis Grizzlies. That will be for Ken Goldberg and the Grizz. Is, is he a possible rookie of the year? It's only 10 p.m. says Joe P. Yeah, but by the time I finish this, I'll, I'll be almost 11 p.m. I got to go home. I got to recharge again. So I can get to 100%. Just Angelo Russell. And then give you give you all my best tomorrow. It'll be short-sighted for me to burn out tonight. And then give you a poor quality show tomorrow. I don't want to do that. It's Justin James Silver. Dion Waiters. To 299. And Ignas, that's your first box there. All right, next box. This is a half case break, second half of the case. We got more in the store, folks, and no team random yet. So if you're a basketball fan, and, you know, and if you know, especially if you're going to join us tomorrow on jazbeescasebreaks.com, man, I would I would highly recommend you getting your teams before they're gone or before they're thrown into a team random. Eric Paschal, yeah, I think Brian's right. It, it, he is having a good season, but... I don't know. I think if if he was having that kind of season on a full strength warrior squad that was playing a little bit better. Playing a lot better. I think he would have a better chance. Vinny thinks he could put up fifteen and eight for the Warriors. Is that right? What did you put up in high school, Vinny? What were what were your numbers in high school? Let's see if those will translate. What position did you play? What did you, what were your what were your scoring averages in high school? Brian O saying sell past all now because Curry and Thompson will be back next year. Curry might be back before the year is out, I think. I think he's a gamer. He wants to play. I wonder if they want pa I wonder if they want Pashal to play well, well enough so they, they can trade him, try to get either picks, which they are short of, I think, and, uh, and or just players to continue to add to that team. Brian O, Brian O put up O and O. Brian, if you were an athlete with your last name starting with an O and ending with an O, would you wear double zero like Jim Otto? Would that be would that be your number? I think it should be if you were a professional. There's Julius Randle to 99. That's Nick's edition, by the way. More Zion insert. I'm sure that'll go for something that it shouldn't go for for a luck of the lottery insert. No doubt, says Brian. All right, yeah. You got you to gotta go double O. There's Larry Johnson. You're a golfer, not an athlete, he says. Golfers are athletes, too. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 299. The Admiral David Robinson, Red Wave. Drew Holiday. He's been playing some good ball with the Pel. I thought the Pelicans would be a lot better this at this point this season. DeAndre Hunter, rookie. Pete Maravich for the Jazz to 149. Rondo, Red Wave. Doncic, far out. Far out, man. Cam Reddish, silver. 
not a good post player. You got to go to him occasionally. I, I agree with you. I know it's 2019. I guess those silvers doing pretty nice, right? Cam Reddish. Hold the reddish. All right, next one. Oh, come on. We'll draft this. We'll, we'll draft this. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Let's look for those RJ Barrett silvers, by the way. Those rookie cards will obviously shit. Nicola Batum. Aaron Holiday to 199. CJ McCollum and PJ Washington. I think is a top 12, top 10, top 15 pick. I should have the draft class up. I'm so not really good at memorizing where all these all these kids were drafted, but I think he's up there. Peach. PJ Washington, 12th overall, pick just ahead of Tyler Hero. And just after Cam Johnson. All right, and that goes to the Hornets. Jeremy, 33, with Charlotte. Harry Giles to 299. Zaire Smith. There's Davida Servitas. I guess we'll save those any silver rookies. You never know. Those are pretty valuable. Brian O, I have a question for you. As a golfer, would you go to a a natural grass miniature golf course? And I'm talking like you know, really nicely, they're really nice, uh, like green grass, greens grass. Would you go there? You have to wear like golf shoes and everything too. And you don't get like garbage putters, you know? I don't know, 40 bucks to get in? 40 bucks to play 18 holes? Be a bar there, you know? And this isn't like, I mean, kids could go there, but it's not like, you know, kids running around. But it would still have like a really nicely manicured like hedges and authentic Dutch windmills there. You know, not like the plastic prefab nonsense. Maybe a real life dinosaur. That's there. Some really, uh, some really nice, like not like a those garbage founds, but nice like rolling water. Nice, nice rocks there too. Forties too much. I don't know. What do people play at Top Golf? How much do you How much do you pay at Top Golf? Jonathan Torres. Next baseball break will be tomorrow, two o'clock Pacific, five o'clock Eastern. Right. A real clown's mouth. Brian O says, I can spend 40 on a course for four hours without my kids with a bar. Huh. All right, Brian, let me give you this twist. What if it was me? What if I ran this miniature, natural grass miniature golf course? And I'm going to give you the full experience. I mean, I'm thinking of charging more. I mean, if kids are spending $15 for avocado toast, that I can make for you at my house for less than a dollar. I think kids will pay for that, especially in Vegas. Behind Silver Jason Tatum is Lenny Wilkins. Hawks. It'll probably be in Vegas, Brian. There's Lenny Wilkins. Hawks, John McCall with that one. Are there cards in the club? There could be. I could, I could probably break from the clubhouse. 
Maybe we'll move the studios there. Broadcasting live from Las Vegas at Joe's Natural Grass Miniature Golf Course. Design, course designed by him and a famous golfer. We'll just put a famous, have whoever wants to get sponsored. We'll, we'll rope in a pro golfer. My dream, if I, uh, my dream is if I win the lottery, I'll, uh, I'll put money, I'll put a stupid amount of money into uh, a, a natural grass miniature golf course in Las Vegas. Out of 149, Blake Griffin. And then overcharge for it, and then people will come. Myers Leonard behind him, Cody Martin. Another Hornet for Jeremy 33, sensational signatures. Norman Powell, Silver. By the way, speaking of that uh, Rookie of the Year conversation, Sean saying since 1995, Rookie of the Year has gone to a player on teams averaging 35 wins. That's right, Brian. People do spend a lot to buy the Pelicans in group breaks. So why not why not a natural grass miniature golf course in Las Vegas? That would be that'd be wild. I would love that. Oh, thirty five percent win rate. Sorry, check that. Thirty five percent win rate. So how many wins does that translate to out of eighty two? There's DeAndre Hunter, rookie, Hawks, John McCall. Terrence Ross was flipped around for some reason. Kyle Guy to 199. Clay Thompson. Eric Gordon to 299. Yeah, I think it's 82 games a year, if I'm not mistaken. Here's Akeem Olajuwon. Dude, it's awesome. Why would you mini golf in Vegas with nothing else to do? Or with everything else to do? Well, people golf in Vegas. You can't just... You can't gamble. Are you gambling and partying 24-7? Sometimes you need a break, right? Spend a nice afternoon at the uh, Natural Grass Mini Golf Course. So, if people pay $15 to go on a roller coaster at New York, New York. That's when you go see a show. All right. So, Brian, you don't have to come to the Natural Grass Golf Course. You will not get the invite for the, uh, for the grand opening. That's fair. Vinny, welcome to the grand opening. Make sure Brian doesn't go. Brian's on about it. You know, maybe maybe we'll pop in a pop in a Michelin star restaurant in there, whatever. Get the hot get the hottest DJs to spin there. Sure. Gambling there, of course. Oh, mini sports book. Put a craps table in there, then, Brian. How about that? Yeah, Vinny. Uh, yeah, one one of my friends was at a bar where, uh, you know, where there was a. Uh, who was there? Was it?
think it was Gordon Ramsay was there. Yeah, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. So they, they made eye contact at a bar, so they're basically friends. We had Gordon Ramsay in there. We'll get, we'll get Bobby Flay. We'll get Vinny to run things. Boom. Vegas. We'll see how long we last in Vegas. Out of 149, it beats Zubac. Jordan Clarkson Silver. And Ball Ball. Denver Nuggets. Be interesting to see where he ends up. What his ceiling is going to be, Patrick, and the Denver Nuggets. There you go. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to I'm going to water water that natural grass. I don't know, maybe I'll have to sell the idea to a casino. Brian, that might be my best bet. Maybe MGM will will buy it. 23 out of 199 Wendell Carter Jr. Right, that water is going to get expensive, but I mean, plenty of golf courses in Vegas, so you know, they're they're surviving somehow. Kent Bay's more. DeAndre Ayton. Blake Griffin to 299. Uh, Boyan Bogdanovich. There's Lori Markinen to 199. Important update for all seniors. Funeral costs continue. Andre Drummond. Oh, that's sad. It's a downer commercial. That's when you know it's late, when you get the downer commercials on. Tyler Hero, luck of the lottery. Let's find a silver Zion, or just a regular Zion. I don't think I've even seen a regular Zion out of here. There's Isaiah Thomas with the Wizards. There's Ricky Rubio and Dylan Windler for the Cavs. It's going to go to uh, Cody Garcia with the Dylan Windler. He won that in a team random. There's Justin Jackson. 7 out of 10 for the Mavs. That's going to go to Brian Lentz. There you go. Wait, who am I selling? I should sell the idea to... I'm not sure how to pronounce that. How we eat? Native American land just outside the strip with a golf course that has no water restrictions? Huh. I want to be on this strip, Brian. People here off the strip, they think it's like miles away. Hours away. It's like it's not, but... All right, two boxes to go. Uh, we'll keep workshopping this idea, ladies and gentlemen. I got to win the lottery first, so I have I have stupid money to dump into this project. I suppose I should take is. Can I take a is our can I take a class on golf course design? How does that work? That's not that's probably, that's probably harder than it sounds, right? Because you think that you got to think about like miniature golf. Like who designs miniature golf courses? There must be someone who probably a lot of math involved. I'm not good. I'm not good at that. I'm good at words. Someone's designing those miniature golf courses. 
someone's job. Someone's just like, what do you do? And he's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a miniature golf course. Mark Nation, yes, absolutely. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a gardener. I wouldn't be out there tending the the delicate, delicate green grass that's out there. Yeah, someone there'd have to be a groundskeeper with golf course experience. Jalen McDaniel's. Wait, there's a mini golf course with real sand and water traps? See, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check that out. I gotta find out how you design them. Maybe that, that'll be my side sort of thing. I'm gonna design miniature golf courses. There's Jalen Hands. Bring mini, make mini golf great again. Luck of the lottery, hyper parallel. And behind Zoe is Jalen Rose. Look how young Jalen Rose looks there. Sensational signatures. Pacers, that's gonna go to Cody. You know who's turning back the clock? That's Dwight, that's Dwight Howard out there. He's turning back the clock. And playing pretty well. Kind of understanding his role really nicely. Playing some great defense. There's Dwight Powell to 199. You know, I haven't... Well, I, haven't I don't think I've ever been to one of those, TJ Leonard. A real grass putting course. But I'm trying to bring the mini golf feel to it. So I'm talking windmills and dinosaurs and castles and hippopotami and caves you know all sorts of stuff I don't know what else do mini golf course have bridges a lot of running water babbling brooks that kind of stuff Carson Edwards for the Celtics Ken with that one Brian O saying Juwan Howard turned back the clock with that dance last week. Yeah, dude. Isn't he just knocking off top 10 teams left and right? Right, clown's mouth. Can't forget the, the terrifying clown. I'll, I'll get like Alexander Shoskard to, to come in to make the mold of the, uh, of the clown that's going to be there. Here's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, orange to 49. Zaire Smith, silver. Giannis Antetokounmpo as well. There's Patrick Ewing to 299. Is he still coaching at Georgetown? Patrick. Tyler Hero, luck of the lottery. Quinn Cook and for the Magic, Chumo Kiki for Orlando. That's for Sanford. Last spot mojo. You know how I know? Because I put the star there. Needed to know. So Sanford on the board with this rookie auto. Not sure how he's doing, but rookie auto nonetheless. Chris Paul blindsided by the trade to OKC. It's business, folks. All right, last box coming up. Good luck. Uh, you bought the last two spots in the in the team random. Sanford bought the last team straight up with the teams that were remaining straight up. All right, so at the end of the break, this will be the first name on the randomizer. That will be the second name on the randomizer. And then whatever else that pops out will be third, fourth, fifth, etc. Ah, so Okiki's rehabbing in the G League. Got it. That's what Sanford's saying. All 
right. Almost there. Stay on target. These prism basketball breaks are a little bit shorter than I thought. Oh, because we they're half cases. But even that. playing next year. All right, so maybe that's a keeper, the Okiki. All right, we got Romeo Langford for the Celtics to 299. Darius Garland, Red Wave. From parallel there. Where did Darius, didn't Darius Garland get drafted? Relatively high? Yeah, fifth overall. All right, Andre Roberson, Silver JaVel McGee, we got Trey Young to 299, he's playing some good basketball, Donovan Mitchell, strong, we got Rudy Go, Kemba Walker revealing a Rudy Gay. San Antonio Spurs. That'll be for Ravi and the San Antonio Spurs. There you go, on the board. We got Luck of the Lottery, PJ Washington. Charlotte Hornets. Marcus Smart, 22 out of 75 for the Celtics. Norman Powell. Anthony Davis. Wilt Chamberlain, Kobe Bryant, DeAndre Hunter. Grant Williams, rookie silver, Eric Bledsoe. Alan Crabb, 99. Yeah, the TV did just say Jalen Brunson playing well. The analyst on NBA TV. At least for that game. He did look pretty good for that game. All right, that's for Ken and the Celtics. We got Luka Doncic. I think even his second year... Cards are still going for, a, a, not as much as last year's, obviously, but for a decent amount. There's Penny Hardaway. Eric Paschal playing well while that guy's out, among others. Jared Allen. We got Isaiah Thomas to 149. Jared Allen again. And the last bit, I think we've got one more autograph, right? There it is. Iguodala, Wiggins, Silver Bogdan Bogdanovich, and Daniel Gafford. Sensational signatures for EA and the Bulls. He gets the last thing here, the last hit of the break. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. What else do we got here? We got a, got a John Morant luck of the lottery. We we'll, might as well sleeve that up. Second overall pick. Pretty decent draft class, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm almost glad that Zion was, was out for as long as he was. He's got things going to be back in a week or two. But that kind of, I think, softened. The bubble was getting bigger. I think that kind of kind of shrank down the bubble a little bit. So now that he has a ceiling to get to, hobby-wise. You know, and we just get to see him in action. But guys like Hachimura, 
John Morant, R.J. Barrett, a lot of guys. Kobe White, even Jackson Hayes have been playing some decent basketball, so I think that's buoyed the rest of the, the draft class. If this was Zion and nobody, I don't know if this stuff would be selling as well on, on our website. You know what I mean? I don't think we'd be doing a lot of group breaks of these, but thankfully, the class has been doing well, and that makes me, uh, that makes me happy. It's good for the hobby. It's good for the hobby to have that kind of variety of people to chase. All right, let's flip to this screen right here. So from John and down to Patrick and everybody in between, you can get one of those little bonuses there, little consolation prizes. Uh, after 11 times, five and a six, top two names will get something. Uh, top name will get this entire luck of the lottery group right here, and then the second name will get 150 points once again after 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11th and final time. After 11 times, it's Cody with the uh, I think hyper parallel luck of the lottery and Patrick with the uh, 150 points going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Good to be back. We'll see you next time. See you tomorrow. Jazbeescasebreaks.com, 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern is when the live stream starts. Shop. Got a hobby shop. Open 11 to 8 if you're local. Bye bye.